In the last video lecture, we covered sandwich ELISA. There we saw that target antigen is sandwiched between two antibodies, namely, the capture antibody and detection antibody. One important application of sandwich ELISA is home pregnancy test kits. A typical home pregnancy strip looks like this. The designation T represents the test zone, and the designation C represents the control zone. Urine sample is added to this strip, and after a few minutes either of two types of results can be seen. If both T and C line become colored, test is positive. And if only C line become colored, test is negative. In today's video lecture, we will find out what in a urine sample is detected by these pregnancy strips. What biochemical substances are present in these test strips? And how these pregnancy test strips work? Let's begin. First, we will find out what actually in a urine sample is detected by the pregnancy strips. Pregnancy test kits detect and confirm the presence or absence of a hormone. This hormone is produced by developing placenta after fertilization. It is known as human chorionic gonadotropin, abbreviated as HCG. It is secreted by pregnant woman in her bloodstream and urine. HCG is a heterodimer and it is made up of 237 amino acids. It consists of two non identical glycoprotein subunits. These subunits are alpha subunit and beta subunit. Epitopes present on the beta subunit of HCG molecule are used as target sites in immunoassays. So now we understand that pregnancy test strips detect the presence or absence of these HCG molecules. Now question is how? To understand this, we have to find out what are the biochemical components of the pregnancy test strips. Now it is clear to us that HCG in urine is detected by the pregnancy strips. Therefore, HCG is our target antigen. We require antibodies capable of recognizing and binding to these HCG molecules. Pregnancy test strips contain different monoclonal and polyclonal antibodies. Some of these antibodies recognize and bind to the HCG molecules. Another component present in these test strips is the indicator molecule such as inactive dye molecule. On activation, this dye results in the color development in the strip. Let's get into further details of these biochemical components present in the strip. Pregnancy test strip has three zones of function. These zones are designated as R, T, and C. R stands for the reaction zone. T stands for the test zone. And C stands for the control zone. If we zoom in, we will find that, in the reaction zone, Enzyme conjugated anti HCG antibodies are present. As the name anti HCG indicates, these antibodies recognize and bind to the HCG molecules. These antibodies are monoclonal, that means they are specific to a single epitope on the HCG molecule. These monoclonal anti HCG antibodies are produced in mouse. Therefore, these antibodies are also called as mouse antibodies. The enzyme conjugated tells us that 
a reporter enzyme is attached covalently to each of these antibodies. Here, we are designating the bound enzyme by letter E. Another important point about these antibodies present in the reaction zone is that these antibodies are loosely attached to the pregnancy strip. Now, let's zoom in the test zone. Test zone comprises of two components, polyclonal anti-HCG antibodies, and inactive dye molecules. Again, the antibodies present in the test zone recognize and bind HCG molecules, and they are also produced in mouse. But these antibodies of test zone are polyclonal. That means, these antibodies are of heterogeneous specificities and therefore, they recognize different epidips on the same HCG molecule. These epidips of HCG molecules are different from those recognized by the monoclonal antibodies of the reaction zone. The second component of the test zone that is, the inactive dye molecule is the substrate for the enzyme present in the reaction zone. This inactive dye molecule will take part in the color reaction. Both these components are immobilized in the test zone, they cannot get detached from this zone. Now, let's zoom in the control zone. The control zone is also made up of two components. These are the antibodies and the inactive dye molecules. Both these components are immobilized in the test strip. The inactive dye molecules are the same as those in the test zone. But the antibodies present in the control zone are known as anti-mouse antibodies. Now, recall that the reaction zone antibodies are produced in mouse, and they are known as mouse antibodies. The antibodies which will recognize and bind the mouse antibodies will be anti-mouse antibodies. So, the anti-mouse antibodies present in the control zone recognize and bind the reaction zone antibodies. These antibodies are produced in GOAT and therefore, also known as GOAT anti-mouse antibodies. Let's now understand how these pregnancy test strips work. 